Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with Simpler Trading, and in tonight's free video, we're going to recap some of the themes that we've been going over in these free videos. Today was a quite volatile day, but if you remember the roadmap that we've been constructing, you will find that today's action was really no big surprise. So where we left off last week was the idea that as the spiders were giving way and breaking below what was a pivotal uh, previous retracement, kind of the 618 that had come down in here and then eventually broken, that you increase the probabilities for moving down into extensions. Now you want to look for moves to tend to terminate at extensions of previous swings. So previous swing low against your previous swing high. And notice where today's low came in, right at that 1272. So 410 and 60 cents ends up being the low of the day. And now with this drastic rebound, you know, the pattern has really completed itself, at least for the imminent move. Now, what happens next? This is where things get kind of interesting because as an ultimate target, I am trying to use a mirror image of the, let's call it roughly $480, this swing high to swing low projected from the previous swing high. Right? It's another relationship or a way that pattern can unfold is to mirror itself or to mimic corrections that have come previously. So I am working with the idea that from 480 down into these swing lows, the move that's really going to end the correction and see the and you don't have to take this too far. I mean, we'll just take it one decision at a time, but could put an end to the decline, could come in here just below 400. So you see that flush below the big psychological value. You mimic that swing like we saw before, and then maybe we can start our way back up higher. Now, the decisions as you head into Friday, because today, Thursday, closed relatively well. The thing that I would have you look for are relationships in symmetry. That's to say, after bouncing from this extension, how much leniency do you give it as you look for it to ultimately come down and make a new low? Well, I would compare rallies inside the otherwise bearish trend. And there's really just this one that strikes me as the most relevant right here. So I'm going to compare this advance off of today's low and notice how that comes in just right there at the 21 EMA. So if you study mean reversion on the daily chart, you know, this would be just enough to shake out everyone that got bearish to kind of make it seem like, oh, the water is safe again and everybody can come back in. And that would be just about the perfect point to turn things back lower again. So I feel like those are your immediate decisions. Other things that we've been going over in these free videos include the put call ratio, right? I told you that this product really needed to see the new high off of a 21 bar basis. This happens to be even further back, but this works off of the idea that all the selling that you saw in equities through here you know, was really controlled demolition. It never had that panic tone to it. Well, this morning had that panic tone to it. And when you think about market participants were more bearish than they had been for the past 21 uh, sessions, you know, once everybody's leaning on that side of the trade, it's usually just about the perfect time for it to end. So between the SPY chart, using that sentiment, we've really been able to map a path for the indexes that has worked well. You know what I'm gonna use for that heading forward, and I'm gonna leave you with two other ideas that say, okay, that's the directional movement that's given us the flush and the first bit of a bounce that we really needed to see. Now I have two ideas, and I don't know that I'll put these on tomorrow or maybe next week, but I wanna start thinking about the potential of sideways trade into the March expiration. So the March expiration is gonna be the first of the witching expirations for 2022. And now that today's move is possibly taking the edge off of the selling, I'm gonna consider the potential of an iron fly, which is basically selling the short straddle around 3,000, but you're doing it with the uh, purchase of protection and not trying to hold that into expiration, but just thinking over the next seven to 10 days, something like this could happen. It could happen in just the opposite manner, right? Down, then up, <clears throat> then down. But the strategy revolves around the fact that in seven to 10 days from now, you're somewhere around the psychological value of 3,000. 
And then that delta neutral theta positive strategy is starting to yield some profits. So if you did that exactly right now in Amazon, you'd be a little bit bearish because your short call is $27 in the money. And I would consider trying to level that out by doing the same strategy in Netflix. Not a perfect pairs trade by any means, but just a place to share the idea that does kind of complement each other. Because if you'd want to see Amazon come in a little bit, well, doing the $400 iron fly in Netflix, we'd want to see price rally a bit, right? because you would be selling the $400 put, $10 in the money. And I think having both of those on gives you some good spread trades that you could sit on for a week or so and not worry so much about direction. And then if I am totally wrong, both of those spreads come with defined risk. And I think that's a great way to be embracing the market right now. So again, I hope you're getting a lot out of the free videos. If so, please do leave a comment, a like, share, whatever you feel is appropriate. And uh, I hope to see you at the next one. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com. And I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.